Hi, this is John with Estimator. In this video, we're going to discuss the use of template files in SketchUp. If you're like me, you have similar projects that you do over and over again, and so there's no use in reinventing the wheel if you're going to be using uh, common components and layers and materials in every model. With components, if you saved a component to SketchUp as a SketchUp entity, uh, a file on its own, the cost data that you assign to that component will stay with that component for use in future models with the use of Estimator. But for layers and materials, the way that I'm doing it is to s store the cost data in this template file so that the next time I go to create a model, those layers and material pricing will maintain. There's no way to save them otherwise that I know of. Let's look at layers for a minute. You'll see I've got a whole bunch of layers in here and it's kind of daunting to some people and, and excessive for, for others, but I use them all and I use them for various reasons. Uh, of course, in layers or in SketchUp are to control their visibility, but there's a lot of things that I need to get estimating data from them and I have to have them on their own layer in order for Estimator to, to read them. Uh, for instance, lineal footage items, I've got a whole section of items that I do by the lineal foot that I'm going to use profile builder to model it and then have estimator take the lineal footage and add a multiplier to convert it to whatever product that I'm working with. Um, for materials I have common materials that I use in every model like shingles or sheathing, uh, Tyvek, things like that that already have the prices associated with them. Uh, so let's look at a little quick case in point. I'm going to use Profile Builder and go to an assembly. Uh, in this case, I've got a, a, a 10 inch thick by 9 foot tall foundation assembly that has quite a few things in it. So let's just start modeling that. Let's say I'm going to say it's 20 feet by 20 feet. And let's come back in this direction 20 feet. All right, I've already assigned in this template, I've already assigned a price per foot and price per cubic yard, etc. So this entire assembly that you see here, we can see instantly how much that costs. So if I was to click on one item in there in particular, like this foundation wall, it's on a layer. And so in this case, I have some costs associated with it. I've got the labor on a price per foot basis and I have the concrete itself so there's 18 cubic yards of concrete in here so that was done using layers in fact all of these are done using layers except for these anchor bolts that you see in here are components alright so we can see that we've got our our price for this foundation that's in here now using another way of using layers let's go ahead and add a slab in here I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to pull it up four inches. I'm going to triple click on this. I'm going to give it the same textures as concrete just for looks. I'm going to hit G to make it a component. Alright, now when I click on that and assign its entity info to over to my layer that I've already got in here for a basement slab, then when I click on it again I know how much that slab costs instantly for all these various associated costs. I have form work, I have uh, cutting and sealing the slab, I have the poly vapor barrier underneath it, I have the termite protection, I have the actual concrete itself, and I have the labor to finish it. So you can see that that was all done just using a template file. Uh, if same case, for, let's take this waterproofing for example. I want to use materials for that and I only want to use one face of it. So I'm going to est, uh, excuse me, I'm going to edit the surface of this and I'm going to paint the waterproofing material that I have that already has dollar amounts associated with it. So that the next time I click on this foundation, if I was to click on this waterproofing here, you'll see if I go to materials, waterproofing, you can see that I've already got all my cost data associated with that material. So again, that's sort of the power of using a template file. And again, this will work in whatever industry that you're in. It's just common pricing data so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. I hope that helps.